In this video, let us see how to solve this Wheatstone bridge type problems using mesh analysis. And there are some tricks to easily write the matrix. So we will see how to do it. So the first problem is a Wheatstone bridge. It is given that you have to find the current through this ammeter. So ammeter is here which has an internal resistance of 9 ohms. So we have to find the current through the ammeter. Since it is an unbalanced bridge, you will get some current through the ammeter. Let us find what it is. So first mark the current directions. So three loops are there I1, I2 and I3. Three loops are there. So three equations you have to write. And the question is you have to find the current through the ammeter. It means that you have to find what is I1 minus I2. Now let us write the first equation. Take the first loop. Start from this point B. So I am writing it as minus 20 I1 because always current flows from higher potential to lower potential. So it is a drop in potential. So take it as minus 20 into that current. What is the current through that branch? So it is I1. So minus 20 I1. Then here in this branch it is 9 ohm. So it is minus 9 into what is the current through this 9 ohm ammeter? I1 is flowing in this direction, I2 in opposite direction. So write it as I1 minus I2 and in this branch it is minus 10 into I1 and this side I3 is flowing in opposite direction. So it is I1 minus I3 equal to 0. So simplify this one you will get the first equation. Similarly, we will write for uh, the second equation. Take the second loop D, E, C, D. Start from point D. So the current in, in this branch is I2. So I am writing as minus 30 I2 minus 90 into. What is the current here? I2 minus I3. And here it is minus 9 into i2 minus i1 equal to 0. So when you are writing for second loop always take that loop current as first one. Okay. So suppose if you are writing for second loop i2 should be first. i2 minus i1 is the current through this ammeter. Whereas when you are writing the equation for first loop you will write it as minus 9 into i1 minus i2. Okay. So whichever loop you are taking, take that current as first part. Okay. So simplify this one, you will get the second equation. Now to take the third loop A, B, C, E and A. So in this case, you start from the point B minus 10 ohms so it is minus 10 into what is the current through this branch i3 minus i1 since we are writing for third loop i3 should be first so minus 10 into i3 minus i1 and here it is minus 90 into i3 minus i2 and here you have a voltage source so now current I3 is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So it should be taken as plus 100 equal to 0. So simplify this one, you will get the third equation. So now you got three equations. 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So these equations I have multiplied by minus 1 so that I will get the matrix of this form. You can keep it as such or you can multiply by minus 1 so that 
my diagonal elements are positive okay so here my diagonal elements are positive and you see the remaining elements will have negative sign and this part will be same as this part so this part and this part will be same and you have a positive here in the diagonal elements and i1 i2 i equal to you write the voltage here okay so this is how you have to write in the matrix form so here we have uh, written the equation and then we got the matrix so instead of writing the equations directly we can get the matrix that is called inspection method that is very easy to do so if you ask to write the equation you go for this method otherwise you can directly write the matrix easily and solve the problem so this is called inspection method where you can write the matrix directly so since you have three loops and three variables you need a 3 by 3 matrix so this is the 3 by 3 matrix so you have to find this constants here you will get i1 i2 and i3 and this is the voltage vector so only one voltage is there so remaining will become zero okay so let us uh, see how to get this matrix directly take the first loop before that you should remember one thing while going for this inspection method current direction is more important because only if you take the current direction all the three current direction in the same uh, direction that is if it is in clockwise you will get matrix of this form otherwise your values will be different and your polarity will also be different so if you are going to write the matrix directly always follow this current direction that is clockwise current direction for all the three loops so first take the first loop so first loop you have the current i1 so i1 so you have to find the these values that is the coefficients of the matrix so for i1 you add all the resistance connected in the first loop so here 10 ohms and 20 ohms are there plus 9 ohms is there so 10 plus 20 plus 9 will be the first coefficient so you add all the resistance connected in the loop first loop then to find the second coefficient what you have to do is you have to find what is common between first loop and second loop so it is 9 ohms so take it as minus 9 and to find this third coefficient you have to find what is common between first loop and third loop so it is 10 ohms so minus 10 okay then for second loop that is to get the second row of the matrix first find what is common between first loop and second loop because i1 comes first so you should find what is common between first loop and second loop so it is 9 ohms so it is minus 9 then for getting the second coefficient you add all the resistance connected here so that is 30 plus 90 plus this 9 ohm resistor so 30 plus 90 plus 9 and for getting this third parameter what is common between second loop and third loop it is 90 ohms so it is minus 90 so for third loop first find what is the first parameter you have to find what is i1 so what is common between third loop and first loop it is 10 ohm here what is common between third loop and second loop it is 90 
so minus 90 and for third coefficient you add all the resistance connected in the third loop so this is 10 ohm plus 90 ohm so it is 100 okay now you have to write the voltage vector so you see the first loop there is no voltage so it is equal to zero in second loop no voltage it is zero third loop you have a voltage source but you have to find whether it is plus 100 or minus 100 so you see the current direction i3 is flowing from negative to positive so it is rise in potential so take it as plus 100 so simplify this one so this is 39 minus okay you can write this matrix now find the determinant of this matrix so it is this one so you uh, you can see here the diagonal element are positive and these elements are repeating here okay and they have a negative sign okay so by inspection method if you write you can easily identify the if you do any mistakes you can easily identify it okay now let us apply the Kramer's rule so for that you take the um, matrix which we have taken already so in that you have replace the first column by the voltage vector okay so and find the determinant value so that is called the del 1 so i1 is given by del 1 divided by del del is the value of the determinant we have already found and del 1 is this one so this one divided by del value will give you the current i1 and we have to find del 2 so to find del 2 you have to replace the second column by the voltage vector and i2 is given by del 2 by del so but the question is we want to find what is the current through the ammeter so it is i1 minus i2 so you subtract these two you will get the answer in case if you want to find what is i3 also same thing same thing you have to find what is del 3 del 3 how will you get you replace this column third column by the voltage vector so this is how you have to apply the Kramer's rule and find the currents in the Wheatstone bridge now let us find the current i1 i2 and i3 in this Wheatstone bridge okay so three currents are there so you will get three equations let us find all the three currents so take the first loop we will write the equation b d c b so it is let us start from point b so it is minus 50 into i1 minus here here it is minus 100 into when you are writing for first loop always take i1 i1 minus i2 minus 150 into i1 minus i3 equal to 0 okay so simplify this one you will get the first equation next for second loop start from this d so it is minus 250 i2 minus 300 i2 minus i3 minus 100 into i2 minus i1 equal to 0 so simplify this one you are getting the second equation so third equation start from here minus 150 i3 minus i1 because you are writing for third equation so it is i3 minus i1 minus 300 into i3 minus i2 here you have a voltage source current flows from negative to positive so it is plus 24 so 
three equations are there you can write the matrix okay you see here the diagonal elements are here and this portion will be same as this portion you can take the equation as such or you can multiply by minus 1 so that the diagonal elements will become positive and these elements become negative so both will give you the same answer so no problem now the same problem let us solve by the inspection method that is directly we will get the matrix instead of writing the equation so take the first loop what are the elements here or what are the resistance connected here 150 plus 50 plus 100 so it is 300 and second element is what is common between first loop and second loop so it is minus 100 and third element is what is common between first and third one it is 150 so minus 150 okay so for second loop first you have to find what is common between first loop and second loop so it is minus 100 and for second one add all the elements here so it comes around 650 and for third one for third one what is common between second loop and third loop it is 300 so similarly you can write it now come to voltage vector so both these loops doesn't have any voltage so it is 0 0 only third loop has 24 volts so it is positive or negative how to identify if the current flows from negative to positive it is plus 24 so find the determinant of this matrix okay now you have to find what is i1 so how to find i1 in this matrix you replace this part by this voltage vector it will become del 1 okay so del 1 matrix is first column is replaced by the voltage vector you will get this one simplify it similarly find del 2 and del 3 so you remember one thing I have written as milliamps it means that I am getting some 10 power minus 3 term so always remember to write the units for the current so I have written in milliamps you can write the answer into 10 power minus 3 amps also okay but don't forget to write the unit I hope you might have understood how to solve this um, Wheatstone bridge type problem it is very easy to write using the matrix method directly by inspection method you can write it if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you